Hi, how are y'all today? You know, I'm sure some of us get get the question of the, us transsexuals, get the question, you know, oh, you you know, since you used to be a guy, do you understand men and stuff like that? And, and I can tell you right now, one of the reasons I am a woman is because I have no idea how men think, really. I, I, I know how, what they find sexy and how to be sexy, but when it comes to their thinking, I really go, what the hell is going on? And I bring this up because yesterday I got a text from this fellow who I met in early, uh, late spring last year. And I got the, got the feeling he was not single. And then, so I let it go and avoided him. And then in early fall, I got together with him again. I thought, well, I'll let him explain himself. And he was awfully cute and stuff and very neat to talk to because he's got the English accent. And anyway, he kind of let it, first he's saying he lives with a roommate and then he kind of let it slip. No, he's li living with a girlfriend. Anyway, I went, okay, that's great. Okay, anyway, and he, he was gone and I just blocked, blocked, blocked and avoided him since. So anyway, he, I got a text yesterday from a mysterious number and it turned out to be him. Oh, hi, how are you doing? I was just wondering how you're doing and la la la. And I'm like, fine, good. And how's your course going? Oh, good, good. And um, I said, you, and he's, you know, tell me about his personal life, you know, new job, this and that and the other. And then he texts me a picture of an, a baby, an eight week baby, eight week old baby. And he's like, yeah, I became a dad and I got his, with the girlfriend and all this kind of stuff. And I'm looking at this text going, what the fuck? Like, why are you sending this to me? Why are you sending this to me? Is this some sort of weird, bizarre insanity thing? Why, what is the purpose? And I just didn't want to get into it and stuff and try to analyze what the hell is going in his mind. You know, you have a baby, so what? You know, it's not like oh, I have been like calling him and hi, I want to be your girlfriend and stuff at all. I've been totally avoiding him, totally blocked him out and everything. So anyway, it's one of those things I don't understand. Does anybody understand what's going on? You few men that watch my videos, give me some light here. I, I've just gotten this feeling through these past, you know, de decade plus uh, dealing with men as a woman, full woman, that, um, and especially being transsexual, you know, there seems to be no problem finding a man to have sex with. It's certainly a good looking guy as well. Like I could snap my fingers and have a, excuse me, have a gorgeous 25 year old muscular dude over, right? But you know, that's not what I'm into. And also, I, you know, how do the, how do women feel? And I know this is not just a transsexual woman thing. A lot of women go through with being put in the position of gonna, you're, that you're going to be in, um, uh, second place, backstreet wife, you know, bit on the side sort of thing, right? My thing is no, I mean, and I don't know what your tolerance level is for that, ladies, but I mean, mine as I get getting older is like, bup, 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 bup. not interested in that. If you want to put me up to be your side thing, it better be, you better put me up in a beautiful condo and pay for a lifestyle that I cannot afford. And then maybe, yeah, sure. Why not? Let's have this relationship. I'll be a bit on the side, right? But, you know, in general, I go, how? Why do, why are men so perfectly willing to have this kind of relationship? Absolutely willing to put up with, the, um, to have this kind of arrangement. And how many of you are willing to be that the side, the girl on the side kind of person? And again, this is not a judgmental thing because I think y'all to each their own, right? I'm just saying for me, I find it bizarre because I do not pursue these kind of men. And then when I do say, when I find out what's going on, I go, no, I'm not interested. And yet they still keep bothering me. You know, the story time video, I'll link it on there, go watch it. He, you know, we had our thing in 2008 or whatever. And I have no, not since tried to see him, but throughout these past 10 years, he still tries. And he has just Sunday, I think, uh, uh, two days ago, he again, hi, do you want to get together for coffee? And I just ignore it because I'm going, what the hell? Why? Why? You know, I know very, f for, for one thing, I know he doesn't want to get together for coffee. He wants, kaboom, kaboom. He wants to have the good times, you know? And 
I, I, I stay away from him and I won't even acknowledge because he is dreamy and gorgeous, like the fantasy gorgeous type of, that I think about. But I just know it's so painful and hurtful to be put as a second class citizen in a relationship. I can't deal with it. And I've had s almost all the opportunities I've had, this is the situation they want. And um, God bless all of you transsexual women out there who are in committed relationships because it gives me hope and I'm sure it gives other women who go through this, this thing hope. I do know there are women who've been, you know, in relationships for decades. I do know women, transsexual women who've been married in the whole gambit, you know. So, you know, I know it's possible. And so I'm holding out hope. I'm just, like I said, dealing with what this guy did yesterday, sending me the picture of the baby. Bizarre, very bizarre. Please comment. I need your help this time, folks. It's not me just blabbing. I need your help. Anyway, you take care and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.